Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my hollow hookup unboxing. I'm also going to be doing live swatches for you guys. I used to do the hollow hookup versus shimmer me box but I've mentioned in previous videos that I am no longer getting this shimmer me box. A lot of the polishes in that box just really didn't interest me. So I decided to just do the hollow hookup by itself and then include live swatches if I have time. It is the summertime right now so I have a little more downtime so I I'm sure I'll be able to do live swatches for you guys um, next month as well. But once school starts, we'll see. I'm going to try and do it for you guys, but I can't promise it while I'm in school. So the July theme was nostalgic board games, which I thought was really fun. Some of these I recognize, some of them I didn't. Um, but I am actually a really big board gamer. My husband and I love playing board games. So this was kind of a fun theme for me. So I'm going to start off with the guest brand this month. And we have a polish here from Polish M. This is is in the shade hashtag sorry not sorry and I'm not sure if it's referring to the actual sorry board game but I really love that board game and I really like this polish so this is like a denim blue holographic polish it does have a really pretty like purpley shift in here and it is jam-packed with a whole bunch of holographic glitter the first coat of this polish was a little bit on the sheer side I was a little bit surprised because blues are typically not as sheer. They build up pretty nicely. And the first the first coat is typically uh, pretty opaque. But this one was a little bit on the sheer side. I was able to get this to really deepen up on the second coat. I would say you can get away with just wearing two coats of this polish. But I think I ended up doing three coats with this one. Just to see if I could deepen up the color and kind of intensify it. But honestly, I think this was okay with just two coats. But I really, really love this color. Blue is my favorite color. So of course I'm going to be a little bit biased and really, really enjoy uh, this, this polish. But I also really like the finish of it. I don't think I've actually tried anything from Polish M. So it was nice to discover a new brand. And I really like the formulation of this. So I'm excited to get to try or I got to try a, a brand new brand. So the three brands from the Hollow Hookup that come in the standard box are Glistening Glow, Different, different Dimensions. I always have trouble saying that name. And then Cupcake Polish, or at least I get tongue tied every time. I say different dimensions. So let's go ahead and start off with different dimensions. This one right here is This Is How We Roll. And it's this really pretty reddish orange with a whole bunch of gold holographic shimmer or glitter in there. It's very, very fine. So it looks more like a sheen. It is really beautiful. And the holographic like shift in here is very, very apparent on the nails. As you can see from my live swatch, this was actually pretty opaque on the first coat. Not that I have any trouble with different dimension formulas, but I honestly, I was, I was pretty impressed with how opaque I could get this polish on in just one coat. I didn't expect that. But of course I ended up having to do two coats. I think this is a beautiful two coat or polish. I didn't really find the need to add a third coat. I love the way the color built up. I loved the shift in this polish. So overall I was really happy with getting this polish in the box. And then on top of that it is a beautiful summer color as well. The next polish I have here is from Cupcake Polish. This one is called Free Parking. This one is probably referring to Monopoly because it is this gorgeous Monopoly green or jade green polish so beautiful it has a whole bunch of I'd say gold holographic um, glitter in here or a gold holographic shift but then there also seems to be this duochrome micro glitter or micro shimmer in here it has a very pretty kind of purpley shift but the first coat the first coat applied relatively okay not fully opaque but one thing I did have I had an issue with this is that it, I did have a lot of polish kind of running down the brush so when I went in and did the second coat I had to go back and brush off some of that excess polish because I didn't want any more polish running uh running down the brush onto my nail. This was fully opaque on me in just two coats. I love the color of this. I love that addition of that kind of multi-chrome slash iridescent little shift that it has in there. Very pretty polish. I have several greens in my collection that are this shade, but none with that little shift in there. It's not super apparent on the nails, but I still, I still enjoy that little twist to that colored polish. And then the last one is from Glisten and Glow, and this one is in It's a Hit. 
This is a very unique polish in my opinion. I don't quite know how to describe it. It's like a grayish green metallic polish. It has a pretty strong holographic shift and then it's jam packed with these multi-chrome metallic flakies in there and they, they flash all different colors like all different metallic colors from gold to bronze it has a little bit of a green shift in there as well just a stunning polish but this was pretty sheer on me on the first coat I could really see the flakies I actually didn't notice the flakies until I did the first coat but as you can see the color base is pretty sheer on the second coat I started building it up a little bit more but it it still wasn't as opaque as I wanted to be but again you could see a lot of those flakies so if you wanted to kind of wear the base a little bit sheer and show off some more of those flakies I think two coats would be nice but on the third coat it really deepened up the base color you could still see a lot of the flakies at this point but I just I really like it with three coats it is a pretty sheer formula so the coats are going to dry relatively quickly so I was actually able to build this uh, polish up or build the three coats up really quickly and overall I just I loved the finished look of this this is pretty unique I didn't expect a color like this especially in the summertime but I really did enjoy um, this polish and I liked how unique it was so uh, that's it those are the four polishes from the hollow hookup I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the live swatches I, I kind of had fun doing the live swatches for you guys and I'm gonna try to do live swatches again for the hollow hookup for the upcoming months and then every time I have like a small color collection or a trio I'm going to try and include live swatches for you guys so please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already I currently post three times a week on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays and then on Sunday or every other Sunday I like to do a weekly makeup basket so hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one bye